Hey folks, it's Patriot Nurse, and in today's segment I want to discuss with you some points on vaccine choice. And this video comes uh, due to a lot of questions that I've gotten and a lot of, uh, I guess, people asking me to make a video on this again. A while back I made a video called uh, Why This Nurse Will Not Vaccinate, and it got a lot of publicity. But I really want to get to the core components of vaccine choice, because when it comes right down to it, we are engaged right now, certainly in this country, in a fairly epic battle between freedom and science. And I want to go over a few points with you because I'm sure you've probably heard them in the midst of people going back and forth. Vaccine choice, pro or against or halfway in between, is a very heated subject. It's a very emotional subject for a lot of people. And I want to kind of clear up some of the issues here with arguments. So I have four points that I want to go over with you guys today. And let's go ahead and move forward. The first one is herd immunity. You have a lot of people who say, you know, the people who are denying vaccines or who are refusing vaccines, they're hurting us uh, as a collective in the United States. They're hurting the whole group and the herd immunity of the group. And my counter to that would be, uh, I'm not going to engage in the science at this point. I'm just going to talk about the fundamental tenets here of what's on the line. And what really is on the line is people calling human beings cattle. Uh, we may be part of a group of people, part of a culture, but I am not a piece of livestock. I am a sovereign human being that has the ability to make choices. Regardless of the approval of the scientific community, I have the ability as a free human being in this country for sure to be able to say what I want in my body and what I want in my child's body. I also want to delve a little bit further into that word herd. Uh, to use the term herd immunity, while perhaps it can have a sort of bucolic nature about it, you know, making people think back to the farm and to the herd, what it does very subtly is suggest to the mind that we are cattle livestock that are owned. And the question is then, who owns us if not ourselves? Does the medical community own us? Does the state own us? Uh, again, I would go back to herd immunity, fine. If you, if you want to hold on to that, then that's great. But when it comes right down to it, we are free human beings. We are sovereign human beings, capable of making our own decisions regardless of whether or not the herd agrees or not. The medical community is not a feudal lord, okay? Uh, the doctor is not a feudal lord. We are not peasants. We are free people. I also want to catapult forward on that and talk about the whole for the better of society, you know, societal betterment. That excuse has been used by every major dictator in the past oh, 100 years for sure. Um, but a lot of people with very dastardly plans have used societal betterment to achieve their purposes and to use peer pressure to force people to do it. The initial intent may be good, but forcing compliance and forcing an individual to capitulate to the betterment of society and to the the goals of the of the state or whoever is in charge at the time that can have very disastrous ramifications not only for the individual but for the entire herd the next point that I want to bring up is the concern that at-risk children mainly children who are too young to be vaccinated um, are somehow being threatened or harmed to a greater degree than they otherwise would be and the question here is always the familiar what is your calculus here in in your quest for safety are we willing to threaten choice? Are we willing to sacrifice choice for a select group of individuals' safety? And I understand that there are vulnerable people here on the line, but you know, when it comes right down to it, we have to understand that there is always a trade-off between freedom and safety. And if you're really wanting a society, society to be better safeguarded and protected, defaulting to freedom of choice overall is your best guarantee to do it. Freedom of choice for the individual is the best guarantee of overall societal freedom and prosperity. Individuals have liberties and rights. Collective societies do not. Another point that I want to bring up is that the science behind vaccines is solid. Some people will, will say, why would parents be allowed to deny their children life-saving measures? Again, the, the answer to that, the, the check on that is at what cost are we willing to allow the state or the medical establishment to form some sort of tyrannical overlordship? Um, that dictates whether or not a parent is allowed to do this for their child or that for their child. And I'm going to flip this around as well. People feed their children abysmal diets all day long. Things that are, I would submit, potentially very deadly long term. Getting your child started out on a steady diet of hot dogs, processed food, mac and cheese may be the American way. But I think we've seen within the past 40 or 50 years that that's a very deadly um, and morbid way to spend your life. So there are many things that parents choose or don't choose that could potentially result in their child having an increased risk for disease or for dying, but not all of these are mandated. Um, and here again, guys, the point here that I want to bring home with you is that if it's not the parent 
Who has the right to choose what's best for the child? Who is it? The doctor? The state? A medical, medical bureaucracy which turns into a medical a tyrannical establishment? If it's not the parents who are making this choice for their kids, guys, then who is it? Do, do, does a person not have the right to determine what goes in their body because 10 other people say they know better? That's really what's on the line here. The last point that I want to cover with you guys is the position that we're seeing a resurgence in preventable diseases. Um, mainly measles, mumps, rubella, etc., and that vaccine deniers and vaccine refusers are part in this and that they are putting these, the entirety of our country at risk through their refusal to submit to sound science. And again, it comes down to it, guys, that forcing people to put a substance or an object in their body is equated to medical rape. So who gets to decide, right? And I'm going to ask you these questions. Who gets to decide what's best for you? Who gets to decide what goes in your body? Who gets to decide what goes in your child's body? If it's not you, then who is it? Is it the state? Is it a medical tyrannical establishment? Um, our choices over the next five, 10 years are really going to determine if we will allow the state or any sort of medical group of people to put their thumb on us and control us completely. Guys, in this country, we're guaranteed a few things. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness as determined by the individual. Not a medical table full of people telling you what is best for you. Not the government, not the state. You, the individual. So, you know, when you hear folks making these, these arguments, just keep that in the back of your mind, okay? Um, whatever way in which they choose to demonize people, whatever way in which they want to try and guilt you into compliance, you're guaranteed freedom of choice as to what goes in your body and the bodies of your children. Okay, so I hope that video was helpful for y'all. I just wanted to cover some of these points today. Uh, I had a lot of people asking me, you know, my thoughts. And his, this is the thing, whenever I was um, working as a floor nurse, guys, and people would ask me my opinion on this, I'd have to make the qualification, do you want my scientific professional opinion or do you want my personal opinion? I never had them ask me in my scientific professional opinion. People want to know the straight up truth uh, and they want to know what you really honestly think and that's what I really honestly think. It's up to you what you choose to do with your body. If you want to vaccinate, go for it. If you don't, go for it. It's your choice. And uh, praise the Lord, we live in a place where it's free and we are guaranteed to be able to do this. We enter into societies, we, we consent to be governed and allow governments to protect our life, our liberty and our property. If we do not own our bodies, then what do we really own? Science is forever changing and evolving. Inalienable rights are enduring. I hope it was helpful for y'all. And for now, it's Patriot Nurse signing off, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.